A Dinka herdsman sings a song of war and loss, of land taken by the Arabs. And of the people they stole during Sudan's long civil war. During the war, Arab tribesmen on horses would sweep through these villages. They'd kill the men and then they'd grab the women and children and then take them back to the north as slaves. Peace came here in 2005 and with it many thought slavery was dead. But traveling to remote northern Baragazal, we found slavery in Sudan very much alive. So this is the reason why. Dr. Luca Deng introduces us to a group of former slaves. They say thousands, perhaps tens of thousands, are still held in bondage. They were all taken through the raid. Forced to sleep with animals they tended. Deprived of food, yet toiling for their owners. They all tell us of enduring cruelty. Branded like her master's cattle, a book shows us the scars that will forever identify her as a former slave. Achol wants the world to know her story. She was taken so young she can't remember when the beatings and rapes began. A Mukhoch says he was ordered to convert to Islam or face death. They gave him an Arab name, Musa, and this Christian shows us how he was forced to pray. What does being a slave do to someone's identity? Well, it changes the identity. If you are a slave, you, are, you feel that you are not human, really, in the real sense. So you, you think that anything told to you, you get the command, and you, you, don't, you don't feel that you want to resist. I sat down with a muk for some hibiscus tea. He says he had 25 years of his life stolen. If you look at me, I look like a human being, he tells me, but psychologically, I'm not human. Even young children there would kick my tea away. I wasn't a human being. Each time he tried to escape, he was caught and beaten. On his fifth try, he made it. But in his freedom, he says, he's alone. The worst thing in my life is all the time I spent without having a wife, he says. The time I spent without my family and friends. The time I spent alone, without my culture. That was the worst thing. Dehumanized and without an identity, Muk is like thousands of escaped slaves in Sudan, trying to make sense of his stolen years. Dave McKenzie, CNN, Northern Baragazal.